Hello and welcome to another IELTS speaking class by Johnny IELTS. So in this video, I am now a substitute teacher. And so now this class is not really mine, but I agree to help my friend for three occasions. So I will see um, these people, hopefully all of them, for three occasions. So this is the first one. Okay, class, are you ready for your IELTS speaking? Yes. Yes. Okay. So yes. we talked about we did talk about uh, part one and part two. So part three. So what is expected of you? So basically, part three will follow the topic of part two always. Okay. Nó luôn luôn tuân theo cái topic của cái part two nhé. It or they always follow the topic of part two. Like for example, in part two, they ask you to um, say. Describe a tall building in a city you like. Then, part three, they will ask you about tall buildings, anything related to that. Like, for example, what are the advantages and disadvantages of living in tall buildings? And you need to try to make your answer as long as possible. Try to give some examples not related to your own opinion, your own like uh, experience because part three is not about yourself so do not give example about yourself okay give example like somewhere uh, in the news on TV on the in on the internet that you, that you have read before nhớ là part three tuyệt đối không cho ví dụ bản thân như các bạn tại vì nó không nói nó cái câu hỏi nó chỉ nói về cái chung chung trong xã hội mà thôi cho nên đưa những cái, cái ví dụ mà trên truyền thông, trên mạng internet, trên <cười> trên TV, trên báo chí, ok? Like for example, if they ask you what are the advantages and disadvantages of living tall buildings, <cười> you can split into two of course, advantages and disadvantages. Let me give you an example, ok? <cười> well. When it comes to living in tall buildings, there are advantages and disadvantages that I am aware of. Second sentence. Advanta uh, living in a tall building ensure that people can have a good view of the surrounding area, and that includes the view of the river, rivers, or the tall buildings, mountains, theme parks, big roads, bridges, and so on. So, third sentence, go back. So, it, um, to some people, this is something very advantageous or beneficial for them, but for the others, it might uh, not uh, matter that much. However, fourth sentence, however, um, there are other advan uh, so there are other advantages to living in tall buildings, and that include the security that comes from the um, surveillance, from the uh, care of the management of skyscrapers or tall buildings. Also. <clears throat> Maybe just two advantages, okay? So the fifth sentence will be about disadvantages then. However, there are also drawbacks of living in, in skyscrapers as well, as a lot of people are afraid of height. So, okay? Afraid of height. So, living... Um, living... Uh, and being able to see many things from above can be a bit of a problem for them. <clears throat> Disadvantages. You can also talk about like, um, what else then? You can just stop there because it's like six sentences already. Just one more disadvantage and it's fine. Like six, seven sentences. As long as you can, okay? As long as you answer uh, correctly the question then it's fine. 
I can talk about one more disadvantage of living in tall building. That is, um, when there's a fire, when there is a fire, it might be tricky to evacuate or to get everyone out, to evacuate everyone out of the building in time. Okay, so that is just one question you can answer like that. Now, next question. Do you think there will be more tall buildings in the future? Bạn có nghĩ sẽ có nhiều tòa nhà cao tầng nữa trong tương lai không? Well, it's about prediction now, right? Not about cái dự đoán. So basically, you can say some people think like this, some people think like that. Nói chung, á, nó phải làm sao nó bạn nó thoát có được cái vẽ là um, tranh luận. Một số người nghĩ thế này, một số người khác nghĩ thế thế nào? Tại vì part 3, speaking, nó vốn là một cái discursive um, part. Nó bắt phải discuss. So basically, part 3, speaking, it's just similar to writing test 2, you know, very similar. Giống như writing test 2, right? So you have to discuss things and there will be controversial, there will be um, controversial topics when some people think like that, other people think like this, something like that. But the main point is you have to be able to talk about different opinions. <coughs> and to talk longer, you know. Nói chung là làm sao mà toát được cái sự mà nó, nó discursive, nó tranh luận, ý kiến tranh luận giữa các bên, các nơi. Và kéo dài cái nội dung ra bằng nhiều cách. Thổ biến nhất là cho cái ví dụ của bản thân mình, không liên quan bản thân. So basically, um, to make the uh, content longer, you can just give more examples, not related to yourself, okay? Now, so let's, oh, where, where, where are we? We, what topic was that? Tall building is like, I don't remember, number six, right? <clears throat> okay, there you go. So, do you think there will be more tall buildings in the future? You can say, okay, there are people who think that there will be more tall building in the future, but there would be some people who think otherwise. Một số người sẽ nghĩ khác. Nó hơi bị gọi nước đôi như vậy. It's sometimes it's a bit like, you know, you have to be in the middle. Sometimes you take side, okay, fine, but sometimes you have to be impartial, trung lập. Have to be in the middle, but... The main point here is to show that this you are discussing, you're trying to discuss, you're trying to prove something, you know. Cái điểm chính ở đây là gì? Mình đang cố gắng, mình discuss, mình tranh luận một cái gì đó, mình đang chứng minh một cái điều gì đó. Okay, why aren't there many tall buildings in the countryside? Well, they ask for the reason, isn't it? Người ta hỏi về cái lý do. Well, some people will say, that, okay, fine. Uh, in the countryside, there is no need, there is no need to have tall buildings because um, <coughs> there, are so, there, there is so much empty space. Quá nhiều không gian mở, nó sẵn sàng, nó empty luôn. There are so much empty uh, spaces, or there is so much empty space in the countryside. And, however, some countryside, uh, people uh, can sometimes build tall building in a countryside for um, certain reason because there might be development plans. Có những cái gì development plans, những cái cái, cái, cái hoạt mà gọi là dự án, những cái tập tổng mở, những tòa nhà cao tầng, những cái chỗ vùng quê, sometimes they do that, you know. Những cái câu mà trả lời hỏi tại sao á, nó hỏi lý do thường nó sẽ hơi bị khó để mà kéo dài ra thêm. Thì các bạn có trên vô cái ví dụ ví dụ như là chỗ này mình xem như là ở đất nước ở đất nước của tôi thì con người ta thường làm thế nào like for this kind of question they ask for a reason maybe it's a, it's a bit hard to provide a long answer so try to put in an example of maybe something of your own country or maybe of um, some country you have seen on the internet for example <coughs> Why do some people like to live in tall buildings nowadays? Tại sao một số người lại thích sống ở những tòa nhà cao tầng ngày nay? Uh, well, you can talk about like the convenience of living in tall buildings. 
you have the you have the good view that um, people desire cái good view của người ta mong muốn you can talk about like um, the service that people provide that people are provided with when there's something broken then the um, there will be technicians coming immediately from the management to fix issues you know khi có vấn đề gì thì là cái bộ phận mà kỹ thuật của cái ban quản lý sẽ tới ngay lập tức để sửa chẳng hạn wow and then there's also the security reason there are camera surveillance every day every hour every minutes and also a security uh, patrol link every corner of the building so it ensures a very safe environment to live in just think of some reason you know to answer part three you need to use the knowledge that you have acquired throughout your listening and reading parts okay those are not fake knowledge okay those are authentic mấy cái uh, tài liệu mà mình học speaking, học listening và học reading á, nó là cái nguồn thông tin quý giá để các bạn có thể dùng để mà writing và speaking nhé chứ không phải là thông tin giả đâu. Những cái thông tin trong đó đều có thể được dùng để mà speaking hết á và writing luôn. So try to read more, try to remember the information you have read, okay? <cười> Now, is everything clear? Do you have any question to ask me? Now I do have a question. What is required? What is the requirement for part three? How to achieve a good part th uh, a good band score, or how to do part three speaking? Like to achieve a good band score, who can answer this? Nobody? Hello? Okay, part three, you have to bring out everything you know. Literally, you have to bring out all the best that you can bring, including like the best vocabulary you can bring, the best expressions, like <clears throat> you try your best to discuss something, you know? And of course, you have to, uh, you must have good pronunciation and your fluency must be good as well. So everything that was asked from past, uh, from uh, part one and part two, but part three is harder. Part three is the part that decide your IELTS speaking band score. Okay, so try your best to do it. Nhớ nha, part 3 mà nhiều người có cái tư tưởng là kệ part 1, part 2 làm được rồi, part 3 bỏ Không có đâu nha Part 3 là cái part mà chấm khảo, mà cái push mình lên cái điểm số cao nhất mình có thể có được Cho nên, bao nhiêu súng ống, súng đạn, bao nhiêu kiến thức, bao nhiêu khả năng đem ra hết <cười> Ok, nha các bạn Không được bỏ nha Alright, so <cười> Let's try to answer question um, topic number six then about tall buildings. Okay, I'll write down just three occasions, but I'll write down. <sighs> yes. Okay, so park three only, right? <clears throat> okay, so Miss Emily, please. Yeah. So, what are the advantages and disadvantages of living in tall buildings? What do you think? Mm, yeah, in my opinion, living in a tall building have has uh, there no, I mean, are, have there are advantages to living in oh. tall buildings. Okay. There are many advantages and disadvantages of living in town buildings. Uh, for example, uh, about the advantages. When we live in a town building, we will have a good view 
for example, a few okay, try, to, mouth. try to provide your own example. Try to provide your own ideas, okay? Dùng những cái idea của bản thân nha, đừng có bắt chước nha các bạn, đừng bắt chước này nha. Don't, don't try to follow my own my ideas, okay? Use your own idea, please. All right, please start again. Okay. Miss um. Kimchi, do you have any idea? What are the advantages and disadvantages of living in tall buildings? Go on. Miss Kimchi, please, are you there? Hello. Yeah, yeah, I'm there. Okay. I'm here. Do you think there will be more tall buildings in the future, Miss G? Uh, I, I think, uh, I think we will more tall building in the future. There will be. There will be. Yeah, I think there will be <coughs> more tall, tall building in the future because uh, the people. Oh. Tall, oh, kéo dài. Oh. Oh, tall. There will be more tall, tall buildings in the future. Tall, tall building. But why? You have to explain why. Mm. Who can answer why? Miss Thuyen, can you answer why there will, be, there will be more tall buildings in the future? Let's start with development of the society. So factory, what's that hoi hai? Or the development of technology or something like that. Miss Lin, please. Oh, my point of view first. Uh, Sorry? Like, uh, what do you say? Yes, I hear you, please. Yes, I hear you clearly, very clearly. Uh, well, from my point of view, uh, first, buying an apartment, is uh, is tend to be less uh, expensive than uh, purchasing a house. Purchase, purchase, then purchasing, purchasing, then purchasing. Purchasing a house. Um, young people who uh, haven't got haven't got a lot in their savings. Mm, often consider owning an apartment as their first home. Their first choice, isn't it? Like for example, me. <laughs> I just bought this apartment like a few months ago and I just moved in a few months ago. And that seemed to be the only option for me. <laughs> right. So besides from uh, that, is there any other reason? Um. So, because of apartments, um, so you mean because of the growth in the number of apartments, there would be more tall buildings in the future, and this trend will continue, isn't it? Yes. Right, so Miss V, please, what do you think? Do you think there will be more tall buildings in the future? Go gắng lên mọi người, try your best. Um, in my opinion, um, I think this will be the trend in the future. Um, because more in more people um, are moving to big city to work and study. So, so the cities are uh, Yes. Have to have to expand. The city has um, to expand. Yes. <clears throat> um, vertically, and so. Vertically, vertically. 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 Make it go lay down like clay, huh? Clay. Vertically. Oh, vertically. Vertically. So I think high. Uh, so I think. Uh, more tall buildings are the best solution for the development of city in the future. Okay. Very good. Một câu trả lời khá ổn đấy. Very good. So Miss Nghi, please, 
Why aren't there many tall buildings in the countryside? What do you think? What are the reason? Is it because people in the countryside do not have the financial ability to build tall buildings? Có phải là người nhà quê họ không có đủ tiêu kiện tài chính để xây tòa nhà cao tầng không? Is it because of other reason, Miss Nhi? Oh well, in my opinion, in the countryside, there are many tall buildings because uh, people who live in in the countryside they prefer to uh, to live like it. You know, when when you live in the a ground like a house you mean ground, when you live in a house on ground floor you mean yes yes mm -hmm. continue please yes uh they prefer to it is more convenient to live because you uh because you know in in the countryside it had more spaces there to, is more spaces cái chữ yeah, có is... trong thêm cái chữ có là there is, there are quá khứ there was, there were tương lai there will be so there is more space in the countryside yes. right very good Miss Nghi now so who's mắm tôm then I have no idea but can you turn on your microphone who's mắm tôm then anh dạ nghe ạ Okay, I'm sure that's not your name. So, okay, so what what do you think? Why do some people like to live in tall buildings nowadays? What do you think? Is it a, it's think a trend now? It's a trend now, you know. Like young people like us, we like to live in tall buildings, tall apartments, you know. But why? Because mm, I think the price of house land, I mean house, house land, the land house is more land expensive. Yes. Yeah, it's more expensive. So the price of the apartment is more reasonable for most of uh, most of the young people. For most of the young people, apartments is much more yeah um, affordable and it's more reasonable to buy it. Nó nghe nó hợp lý hơn. Yes, true. Very reasonable to buy it. Now, is there any um, other reason? Think um, about um, think about the fact um, that you can meet many neighbors if you live in apartment. Nobody want to live separately from the others because human is a sociable creature. Con người là một giống loài mà xã giao giao tiếp. So nobody wants to live. Um, without neighbors, you know. So when people live in tall buildings, apartment yeah, complexes, and... speak. Yeah. The other thing I think is that uh, the tall buildings provide the convenient, convenient, convenient. Uh, services yes. like yes. park, primary, or supermarket, so we can easily. Parks, gyms, <laughs> swimming pools, supermarkets, yes. And especially the security services. The security the tall building services. Mm -hmm. are private. That's a good thing. Say again? I can't hear you very well. No lie, no lie. I, I can't hear that last sentence very well. You talk okay. about All security, right. yeah? Yes, and the security of tall building is safer than private house. Private houses, exactly. Now, so, uh, Miss Nhi, please, what do you think? Why some people like to live in tall building nowadays? Okay. Yes, Miss Lin, please. Oh, sorry, Miss Nhi, please. Yeah. Um, well, from my perspective, I think people like to live in tall buildings because 
uh, they have they, they keep them safe and because you know that they they have so many security cameras and they are they are they are they are they are they are many security cameras uh, yes and besides that they uh, live in, in the tall buildings that yeah. means we have a better view of course like we, like we can watch the whole city view in daylight they, they lie on night not light. Oh, at night like for example my apartment i can see landmark 81 and i can see full me bridge um and then uh, other buildings, other lakes from far, far, far away, you know. Because I live in the 12th floor, on the 12th floor, so I can see really far away. But sometimes, you know, just don't look down, the mean so. All right, let, okay. Now let's move on. Let's try another topic, shall we? Um, maybe. Uh, let me choose a random topic here. Hmm. This is hard, you know. All right, let's try social media number ten. Okay, let's try topic number ten: social media. Topic part two is describe something interesting, interesting you saw on social media. Cái part two nó là yêu miêu tả một cái đó interesting những năm đầu, những năm đầu interesting. First of all, interesting miêu tả cái gì đó thú vị các bạn thấy trên uh, mạng xã hội. So basically, part three will be, will be about social media về mạng xã hội. Why do you like to use social media? Tại sao con người why do people like to use social media? Tại sao con người ta lại thích sử dụng mạng xã hội? Think about uh, networking, you know? mạng lưới. Think about making friends and connections that you can uh, use for work, for opportunities, like to study, to meet people, to make friends, you know? And of course, social media can be used to spy on other people too, if you are nosy. Có thể dùng để mà làm gián điệp. Spy on other people. Nếu mà các bạn... Nếu mà các bạn còn muốn biết điều gì đó người khác. Okay, but that's not the main thing. Why? Okay, so what kinds of things are popular on social media? Có những thứ nào nó thông dụng trên mạng xã hội? <cười> What are the advantages and disadvantages of using social media? Lợi ích và tác hại của chuyện sử dụng mạng xã hội là gì? <cười> what do you think of making friends on social network? Bạn nghĩ gì về chuyện các bạn trên những mạng xã hội? Why shouldn't people trust everything they see on social media? Tại sao con người ta không nên tin tưởng bất kỳ thứ gì họ thấy trên mạng xã hội? Do you think that the media is contributing? Contributing, you know, first of all, contributing a lot to the development, you know, second syllable, development of countries. Bạn có nghĩ rằng truyền thông đang cống hiến hay là đóng góp rất nhiều cho sự phát triển của đất nước hay không? Think about the fact that people need to be informed, you know. Con người ta cần phải được thông tin để mà người ta có thể làm việc được cho tốt hơn Để mà người ta không có um, bị gọi là lạc hậu People need to be informed in order to work better and to study better So they would not become um, ill-informed, you know Cho nên người ta sẽ không có bị gọi là ill-informed Giống như là gà quá Ngố quá, không biết gì hết Like that, would ill-informed, you know <cười> Think about what the media has done 
for the development of countries. Like it helps people to know more about music, about other peoples, other nations, other countries, cultures, and food. Um, international events, những sự kiện quốc tế. And does it help people to? Of course, it helps uh, advertisers advertise. Uh, it helps to advertise products, the quảng cáo sản phẩm to help uh, producers or companies sell goods easier. Bán đồ tốt hơn, bán dễ hơn. Tại có quảng cáo. Um, is there any other thing? Okay, you think of the ideas. Okay, các bạn phải nghĩ được ý kiến. Các bạn phải tự nghĩ ra. What do you think are the roles of the media in our modern world? World. More our modern world. Bạn nghĩ gì về cái vai trò của truyền thông trong cái thế giới hiện đại của chúng ta? Well, think about... It's related to the question up here, you know? Nó liên quan câu bên trên nè. But besides from the development of countries, how does the media help the development of us, of citizens, of people? Làm sao nó giúp cho sự phát triển con người được? Think about the fact that it it helps people to be informed about many aspects of life. Giúp cho con người ta được inform được thông tin tốt về những cái khía cạnh cuộc sống. <cười> And uh, to catch up, to catch up with their latest trends and Uh, development bắt kịp với những cái xu hướng mới nhất và những phương phát triển sự phát triển mới nhất. So I think for this question, maybe you can um, you can hypothesize. You các bạn có thể giả thiết giả định hypothesize that um, what would happen. If there is no, if there, if there was no, if there is no media in our modern world, what would happen? Nếu các bạn thấy giả định được là nếu mà không có cái uh, media thì chuyện gì sẽ xảy ra? Mệnh đề uh, if loại hai á, second conditional. <cười> what would happen if there was no media? Okay. What would have happened if there was no media? Okay, so... Um, last question. Do you think there is anything people can do to have a cleaner and healthier social media environment? Anh chị có nghĩ rằng có bất kỳ thứ gì con người ta có thể làm để có một cái môi trường mạng xã hội lành mạnh và trong sạch hơn hay không? Because there are a lot of spammers, there's a lot of fake posts to defame people online right now. Harmful content, những cái nội dung độc hại, harmful content to defame people, giống như là làm làm nhục, làm nhục hay là defame là giống như box giống như là hạ nhân phẩm người khác. To defame people. Có rất nhiều người khoái defame people trên mạng nha. There's a lot of people they they really like to defame people online because they hide behind fake account. Đứng đằng sau mấy cái fake accounts, những cái account ảo Sao mà chửi người ta đúng như đúng rồi like... Alright, so uh, Is there anything people can do? So you have to think about solution, you know Các bạn phải nghĩ về cái giải pháp Ok, mình nên nói về vấn đề trước Rồi mình có thể nói về giải pháp Maybe it's better to talk about problems Of social media environment now, um, these days And then you can talk about solution for that. All right. <cười> so for this part three, I'll give you three minutes to think about them. Okay? Hãy cho các bạn ba phút để suy nghĩ tất cả những câu này. Three minutes start. Okay, let's try it now. 
So, uh, Miss Emily, please. Why do people like to use social media then? What do you think? Nowadays, more and more people like to use social media because of many reasons. Firstly, uh, they can use social media to make friends in over the world. All it's over the world. World. Over the over world. The world. The world. And uh, they can. They also can use social media to contact to their family to or contact. friends. Contact. You know now. Contact. contact their family. Contact to yeah Con to contact someone yeah. to uh, contact yeah. someone so they can use yeah. social media to contact their family contact or their it's family. better to use to keep um to uh, in touch keep, to keep in touch, touch with their yeah. family yes yeah are uh, easier and free of course um in addition they can use their social media to share their own opinions about something. To share their own. 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 Their own. Không phải own, không phải own. Nó là own. Các bạn, cái từ này xưa đúng không? Own. Their own. Their own. 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 Chứ phải là own, không phải own. Their own. Own. Their own. Opinions. Um, about something in their life or basically they just share about your about their memories about their experiences yeah, yeah. good good very good now miss uh, what do you think what are what kinds of things are popular on social media then Go on. Yeah. So what kinds of things are popular on social media then? Well, from my point of view, many things are popular on social media. It's better to say there are many pop there are many things that are popular on social media. You there are there is new hơn các bạn. You need to use there are there is. Cái chữ there are there is thay thế gì? Có của tiếng Việt mình. So there are many um, things that are popular on social media. Uh, there are many things are popular on social media. There are many things that are popular in social media. There are many things that are popular on social media. Um, but the most popular is to share pictures and videos of our about oneself. Mm. People also share the latest news and information when they find something interesting. And nowadays, even uh, business has started using the social media to advertise their products and uh, to advertise their their products. Their products. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's it. okay. Very good. Very good. Now, so Miss Kim Chi, please. So, what kinds of things are popular on social media then? Um, so many things. I, 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 I think that there are many, many um, information. There are much information. Information không đến được. It's uncountable, so there yeah. are much information. Yeah, um, there are much information that's well, basically viral. it's easier. It's more natural to say there are a lot of a lot of information. There are a lot of information. There are a lot of information that's go viral on so on social media, and um, I become extremely. Um, Popular within second. Sorry, I don't understand that. What what kind of people? The social media. Sorry, what did you say? The last one. I don't hear what you were talking about. Hello. I 
không hiểu câu vừa rồi tiên tiên vừa nói dạ em rồi mạng bị vấn đề đó net problem again anyway let's uh, continue with the with uh, okay so miss nay please So what are the advantages and disadvantages of using social media then? Các bạn nói chậm rãi thôi nha Nói càng nhanh, càng bị vấn đề, càng dễ bị vấp, càng mất điểm Try not to speak so fast in IELTS, okay? Try to pronounce correctly And uh, just try to stay calm Don't try to make it fast, okay? Đừng có làm cho nó, nó nhanh quá làm gì nó phạm lỗi tùm lum là chưa điểm nữa All right. So, Miss Nee, please, what are the advantages and disadvantages of using social media? Um, there are so there are some reasons that using social media they they have advantages and disadvantages. Yeah. And first, yeah. and first. All right. First, firstly, I'm talk about the advantages. Firstly, is most likely used in writing. It sounds too formal in speaking. Remember, nó chỉnh chậm quá. Nó dùng cho writing, you know. So first of all, let's just say first of all. Yeah. First of all, the advantages is uh, we can make friends to all over the world. Like we can understand, we can communicate and understand their culture through the conversation, the conversation. Di daily conversation. Mm -hmm. And the second one is um, we, we can learn a lot of things on social media, like some, some sources that we want to learn on the internet and and the disadvantages is that there are so many harmful contents content. that harmful we can content. content no content okay mm -hmm. content there are harmful contents online yeah there are so many harmful contents that we cannot uh we, that that which is which are inevitable if what which are in which are inevitable inevitable những âm uh, hai á inevitable không thể tránh khỏi inevitable 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 và thà bảo ba cái âm xua đằng sau á inevitable 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 alright let's check this one out <cười> C Nè, có hai âm xoa ít nhất nè Thở Và Bầu Ờ, ờ, ờ Cái âm ờ, ờ Cái âm yếu hơn á Ờ In In Every Thở Bầu Inevitable Inevitable Thở bầu Ba âm xoa bên tiếng như anh dạng Mỹ luôn nè In Every Thở Bầu Inevitable. 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 Nói vậy đó. Inevitable. 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 All right. Continue, please. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. You have to be very careful with pronunciation. Remember, if you would like to get a better band score. You have to be very, very careful with your pronunciation. Okay. Now, please continue. Uh, which are inevitable. 
and um, that we have to take take out from the children and as well yes. and especially and especially that the 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 disadvantages is that um we we can filter saying lọc có thể we can filter out to filter out to filter out something lọc ra mà lọc lọc ra gì đó to filter out bad contents maybe yeah yeah thank you to filter out the news well, and the, the we do have filter. internet censorship we do have internet censorship cái sự kiểm duyệt trên mạng internet we do have internet censorship though I'm not so sure you have learned about it all right so Miss V please so what do you think of making friends on social networks or network um, Making friends on social network is a uh, is easiest way to uh, have a new friendship because um um according to what we can see on someone personal page on Facebook, so uh, we can get to know their basic information about them. Um, Some so, basic information about them. So yeah. uh, there could be many um, people who are dangerous people online. You know, những người nguy hiểm ở trên mạng đó, dangerous yeah. people online, scammers, những kẻ lừa đảo, scammers. Well, and there could be even very toxic people online too những người độc hại ở trên mạng yeah, toxic people alright it seems like you do not have much information or much ideas about this uh, question so Miss Mountain please <coughs> your microphone Miss Mountain okay so what do you think of making friends on social network um, I think it's convenient to make friends in social network because we could easily give an uh, a friend's request for anyone we want. So uh, we will have more friends than uh, uh, more friends than the condition if we don't have uh, social media. All right. Well, so you have a positive view about social network, which is good, you know, um, it's good to be positive sometimes. Uh, it's not good for the time because I, apparently they are, I mean, strange people or just a uh, social cow, what, how to say that? How to say what? Mẹ mình nói tôm đúng thì tệ thì luôn á. Nó cứ nó cứ dịch 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 cài dịch ngoài. Like your internet is actually quite bad, I think. Anyway, so I mean, uh, because we don't know very clearly about each other, and that people, uh, and they just on account people hide hide. People well, hiding hide from accounts. Their fake accounts, yes. So they could, um, I mean, they could type anything, and they could comment anything on social media, and that makes the maybe makes the uh, stressful or discussion about the negative reactions. Yes. Right. So I'll ask you the next question. Why shouldn't people trust everything they see on social media? Like for example, there are posts that people do, that there are posts that people post online to 
um, improve their own image để mà cải thiện cái mình cá nhân của họ a lot of them are fake <cười> so um, why shouldn't people trust everything they see on social media including like um, parties pictures uh. including like uh, products uh, advertisement for products or something like that Oh, well, I think for is just social media is all the people life is not our life we should focus to live in the present I mean live for our life then live in the present mm-hmm. yes some jump in time yeah all right miss Le- miss Huylen, please what do you think why shouldn't people trust everything they see on social media Who can answer this question? Miss V, maybe? Emily, can you answer this question? Um, yes, try to. Try to. Go again. Try to. Think about the fact that there are a lot of scammers online these days. Có rất nhiều kẻ lừa đảo trên mạng bây giờ. A lot of scammers online these days. And so there are a lot of fake posts as well. Có rất nhiều cái bài đăng ảo đó Fake post. And they do that just to give a false impression. To give a false impression of themselves một cái ấn tượng mà giả tạo của mọi người về bản thân họ to give a false impression of themselves so they can do that in order to lure people into their trap để mà dụ dỗ con người ta vào chậm bẫy của họ chẳng hạn something like that right Okay, I would suggest that you think more, read more about this question, okay? Các bạn học uh, nghiên cứu thêm, đọc thêm trên mạng về cái chủ đề này nhé, về cái câu này nhé. Alright, so next question. So, Miss Nghi, please. Do you think that the media is contributing a lot to the development of countries? What do you think? Well, I think that the media is contributing a lot of things to the development contributing, of con- contributing contributing or maybe let me um, check his word out contribute contribute but here they say contribute too it's weird right có những âm một âm hai được luôn này okay so first and second syllable are all accepted okay So contributing to or contributing to, okay, fine. Please continue. Because uh, let's let's take uh, COVID nineteen as as example. Because at that time you can see that we have we had a lot of meetings and a lot of lessons to cooperate at that time. So I think that. A lot of business can can um, can can work together through through the media. Through the media. Mm-hmm. Exactly. For example, without apps, without apps on the phone, without uh, services on these apps, or we call them the media businesses wouldn't be able to survive the COVID-19 pandemic. Không survive nổi đâu, thì không có ác không không survive nổi đâu. And uh, so that is one very good example. Okay. Now, Miss Kim Chi, what do you think? Do you think that the media is contributing or contributing a lot to the development of countries? Everyone has their own ideas. Let's contribute 
our our small piece pieces mỗi người uh, đóng góp một cái một cái miếng nhỏ của cái thông tin vào thì nó sẽ trả lời được mẫu thôi ok miss kimchi what do you think cái ý của bạn vừa rồi rất là tốt luôn á like um, the previous idea was actually excellent So what do you think, Miss Kimchi? Cái câu này em chưa có ý tưởng thì thôi. Okay, you don't have an idea about this one. Okay. All right, think about health apps. Những cái apps của sức khỏe. Like you can meet your own doctor on apps. So it helps in the um, caring of in the in the healthcare, you know, in the healthcare to take care of people's health better. Also, what else? Food businesses also benefit from apps, so people can order food on those apps. What else then? These two are actually very wide, and you need to do more research on. Now, okay, so for part three. For part three, a lot of questions can be very difficult to answer, so you need to read more, do more research about them. Okay? Phải đọc thật nhiều nha. Mình có thể trả lời nổi cái câu phức tạp như vậy, phức tạp như thi hoa hậu. Like these questions are actually difficult, like uh, in the Miss Universe con- competition, something like that. <laughs> All right, so Emily, please. Do you think yeah. is there's anything people can do to have a cleaner and healthier social media environment? I, yeah, in my opinion, I think people can use social media. Um, be, sorry, I, I can start again. All right, in my opinion, people can. Uh, can choose some ways to have a cleaner and healthier social media environment. For example, they can think more carefully before they think leave more any more carefully before they leave in any comment on comment. social media. Comment. Yeah. Comment. It's comment. 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 It's comment before they come I mean, on social yeah. media because so, it leaves yeah. something called a footprint nó để lại cái dấu chân trên mạng they, they leave uh, yeah. footprint on the internet yeah. that people can and search for it, you know còn người ta search một phát là ra ngay footprint thế ngay yeah. and yeah. Uh, specifically uh, like uh, specifically 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 we, yeah we should think uh is it too to say that or is it necessary or is it kind to say anything to people on our social media and uh, the way we choose to subscribe or follow any channel on our social media like uh i only choose to follow something positive or i I just choose to read any good things about this world. Okay. For example, yeah. Everything people say online can be used as a proof against them later. Bất kỳ thứ gì con người ta sử dụng trên mạng hoặc là nói trên mạng có thể dùng để làm bằng chứng chống lại họ sau này. Ngày dân trước tòa. Yeah, that's right. It's like exactly. It's exactly like before yeah, the court. Yeah, it's true. You know? In the court, they say. Everything you say can be used as a proof <laughs> against you in the court. Đúng luôn á, trên mạng nó như vậy mà. So basically, be careful. Now, so, uh, very good, very good. Miss V, please, what do you think about this question? Do you think there is anything people can do? Miss V, please, a microphone, please. Do you think there is anything people can do to have a cleaner and healthier social media environment? Um, in my opinion, um, people can do to have a cleaner and healthier social media environment. Um, they should uh, 
select to uh, uh, they should uh, information selection when um, they uh, you should mean they could uh, they, they should choose carefully the information yes when or they select are... the information carefully yeah and just like selecting uh, just like choosing the right teacher for IELTS <laughs> mm -hmm. exactly what else then? Tip, 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 tip. And they should, um, they should be carefully about. Be careful. Uh, they should be, be careful. careful. They should be careful. Um, the the action, the act, uh, they they do on um, social media. Yeah, they do online. Is that all? Well, <clears throat> that's just about the people. Now, what about the government? So some government, they have, um, they have a specific department to track down online scammers, to track down online criminals. Có một số đất nước, họ có cái bộ phận mà chuyên môn để mà track down online criminals để mà truy tìm dấu vết của những tên trộm tội phạm trực tuyến to track down online criminals and that is what the government can do to protect their citizens để bảo vệ những cái công dân của họ ok what else then um, and also there are rules there are um, regulations that everyone need to follow to have a better, healthier, cleaner social media environment. Like for example, if people join a group, people have to abide by the rules of the group. Abide by the rule of the group. Con người ta phải tuân thủ theo cái luật pháp, cái luật của cái cái nhóm đó. Have to abide by the rule of the group. Like for example, no swearing, không chửi bậy, no profanity. Profanity, không có những từ tục tiểu. No profanity, like no bad words, no um, um, abusive behavior. Không có những cái um, hành vi mà mang tính lạm dụng người khác. No abusive behaviors, uh, like for example, defamation sự dìm hàng á, dìm người ta xuống, like defamation is actually a, an abusive it's behavior rubbish. that is very commonly seen in this country. To be honest with you, một cái hành vi cực kỳ dễ gọi là nhìn thấy luôn á ở đất nước này. Well, and now there are rules against that now. Có những cái luật pháp chống lại điều đó rồi bây giờ. No body shaming không gọi là gọi là dìm cái hình ảnh cơ thể người khác xuống không có tai mọc. Nobody shaming do not add, uh, talk about human's appearance because if you talk badly about that, you can get fined by the police, you know. Có thể bị phạt và cảnh sát đấy. And that is what the government can do, you know, to have a cleaner and healthier environment uh, online. What else? I think that's it for this question. Um, let's try. Okay, I think that's it for this uh, media. I think we can practice more at home. Remember, these topics are not final. Okay, những cái chủ đề nó không có phải là kết thúc là phần cuối cùng đâu nha. Nó còn có thể phát triển thêm, nó có thể viết thêm những có thể có thêm những cái chủ đề, những câu hỏi khác nha. I could put more like you know questions in here and updated topics and things like that too so this is not final you should try to practice these question answering these questions by yourself at home okay in front of the mirror and try to record your performance to record your um, speaking practice and listen again 
try to improve it đương nhiên các bạn xem cái recording về bản thân luyện uh, tập speaking các bạn sẽ thấy rất là gớm tại vì không có ai mà thích nghe cái giọng của bản thân mình đâu nhưng mà các bạn bắt buộc phải nghe để mà nhìn ra được cái gớm đó để mà chỉnh được để cải thiện được so of course nobody like to listen to their own voice even me I don't like to listen to this video again no I don't but you have to listen again to improve to fix your uh, to correct your mistakes you know any question mm. no question yes. you have to say no phải nói no mới đúng nha cái này là cái vấn đề là yes no question ở việt tiếng việt á mà nó khác nhau tiếng anh á this is a yes no question uh, problem between vietnamese and english logic so if i ask you is there any question You have to say, no, we don't have any question. Not like, yes, you are right. Không phải là, yes, thầy đúng rồi đâu không? No, no, phải nói là no mới đúng. Các bạn tập cách nói no nhiều hơn đi. Try to, uh, try to say no more, okay? Right, okay. Is there any question? No. No, there's no question. Do you understand this lesson clearly? Yes. Yes, we do. Okay. So this video will be available on my YouTube channel. I'll send you the link when the um, video is ready. Okay. Mấy bạn nên coi lại. You need to rewatch this video and learn from it. Okay. There are other videos in my channel as well. Be sure to check them out. I'm sure you will like it because there are a lot of useful materials trong cái channel thầy cực kỳ nhiều có cực kỳ nhiều video luôn á, bây giờ chắc là được 500 video rồi, <cười> maybe I have about 500 already. Có listening, reading, luôn, speaking, writing, all four skills, you know. Okay, time to have dinner. Đến giờ ăn tối rồi. Okay, I'll see you next uh, Friday. Okay. Thank Bye you. Class. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your uh, weekend. Okay, bye-bye too. Goodbye, see you then. Bye-bye. Okay, that's the end of my videos. Please like, share this video with your friends, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and press on the bell button next to the subscribe button so you can get notified about my new uploads, okay? You can also follow, press follow my Facebook, but please don't add me on Facebook as friends, okay? Cảm ơn các bạn đã theo dõi nha. Các bạn hãy nhấn vào like, chia sẻ video này bạn bè các bạn. Nhấn vào nút đăng ký kênh YouTube mình và nút cái chuông kế bên cạnh để đăng ký kênh đó, để mà các bạn có thể được thông báo về những video mới nha. Các bạn cũng có thể nhấn vào nút theo dõi Facebook mình nhưng nhớ đừng kết bạn Facebook mình nha. Thank you and see you. Bye!